Okay, listen, if you are an avid Canva user like I am, you're going to absolutely love these five new features that Canva just recently rolled out. Some of these are new capabilities that you can use within the editor, and a couple of them are brand new apps that are going to allow you to do some amazing things within your designs. Now, Canva does have certain features that are options for everyone, regardless of if you're using the Canva free or Canva pro plan. And there are other tools that do require you to have a Canva pro plan. So if you're not sure which plan you need to use and you're interested in trying out Canva pro, I do have an affiliate link in the description box below that'll let you try out Canva pro free for 30 days. So you can see which plan will be the best fit for you. All right, let's go ahead and jump on the computer. All right, the first new feature we're going to talk about are font filters. So I'm here on Canva. If I go over to add some text to my design, I can just come up to where I would normally look for a different font. And this is a new capability within this font section is this little filter option. So I can click where it says show filters. And this is where I can actually sort through and filter by a certain language if I'm looking for a different language. And I can also choose free or pro only font. So if I'm, let's say, creating a Canva template to sell and I know I only wanna use free elements and fonts to make sure that my buyer is also able to access these, I can sort the fonts by free only and click apply. And now as I scroll down, I'm seeing only the free fonts as opposed to both free and pro. Now, before we move on to feature number two, I know a lot of you watching are probably digital product sellers who are creating and selling different types of digital products online. So I wanna let you know I have a free gift for you just for hanging out with me here today. And that is my free 45 minute long digital product masterclass. In this masterclass, I teach my proven four-step system for starting and growing a profitable digital products business. And it gives you everything you need to know from what types of digital products there are to how to figure out which one is the right fit for you to sell. We even dive into the nitty gritty tech stuff like sizing, resolution, aspect ratios, file types, all of the different things that you'll need to know if you're going to be successful with a digital products business. So I've got that free class linked in the video description box below. So when you're done watching, this video, definitely click over and you can watch that on demand. I know it's going to be a great help for you. Okay. Canva hack number two is retaining photo edits. So if you've used Canva before, you know, you can edit photos. So let's say I have this photo here. I can always just come up to edit photo. I can do things like removing the background, adding a shadow, adding an effect like duotone or blur. But the really cool new feature that Canva just rolled out is being able to retain whatever your previous edits were if you're switching out the photo. So let's say I'm starting with this photo of this coffee mug. I want to go ahead and remove the background from that. So here it is with the background removed. And let's say I want to blur it out a little bit. So I'm going to add a little bit of a blur effect to the whole image. All right. So there is my new photo with the background removed and the blur effect applied. So now let's say I like these effects and I know this is the type of look I want for my design, but I'm not loving this specific coffee mug photo. So I can come back to my element section and look for some other photos either here or within photos that I've uploaded myself, but let's say I'm looking here in these photos for a different coffee mug that I might like better. So if I want to try this one and I know I still want to keep the background removed and that blur effect in place, I can simply just click and drag the new photo I want to try over this one release it, and then it automatically applies those effects. So now we've got our new mug here with the background still removed and the blur effect still applied. I can do this as many times as I want by just clicking and dragging over a new photo. And as long as I drag it over and release it, it's going to go ahead and apply whatever effects I had already put in place here. All right, our next Canva hack is adding borders and corners to grids. So if you're not familiar with grids on Canva, you can come over to the elements tab and scroll down and you'll see the section that's titled grids. We can click see all and the grids are basically just different layouts that you can drag and drop photos or images into that lay it out in a certain way. So it's almost like a collage. So let's say I want something like this. This is going to allow me to drag and drop three different photos into this grid and it's going to stay in this layout. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag and drop a couple stock photos over here for this example. All right. So here we've got our photos inside of our grid. And the new hack here is that you can actually select this and come up to this little option up here that says border style. And I can add a border to this photo by increasing the border weight to be as thick or as thin as I want. And I can even round the corners. So if I want the corners not to be sharp edges, but a little bit more rounded, I can do that as well. And I can always change the style of the border as well up here. So I'm going to stick with this just solid style, but now after I've added a border to that, I can come and click on my border color and I can either change this border to a solid color or I could come down, let's say, and use one of these gradient colors. I can come down and do the same thing with the bottom photos in the grid. And there we've got the same borders on all three photos with my rounded corners and my gradient. All right, moving on to our next hack, which is a new app that I'm loving in Canva called Carousel 
Studio. So you can come to the app section and type in Carousel Studio. And this is the one we're gonna use right here called Carousel Studio. So when we click on that, it's going to give us the ability to put in a topic that we want to create a carousel for. Now, if you're not familiar with carousels, that's basically just a fancy way of saying several images that go together that you can use on a social media platform like Instagram. Carousels are really popular for getting engagement on social media, for delivering value and tips, things that your target audience member are going to find very useful and keep them clicking through on your content longer because it's a series of images or graphics that go together. So normally when we would create carousels to put on a platform like Instagram, we'd have to go one by one and create each of these separately. But with this new app, Carousel Studio, it's going to batch create this within seconds for you using AI to generate the content. And then you can go back and make little edits here and there to make it exactly what you want, but it's going to save you so much time doing this in bulk. Now this is where we're going to insert the topic that we want our carousel to be created around. But before we do that, if we are product sellers and our social media content is going to be revolving around what we're selling, we need to do a little bit of research up front to make sure that the idea we have for our products is actually something that's in demand. So one of my favorite tools for this is Sales Samurai. You can come to Sales Samurai and do a keyword search for the type of product you're thinking of selling. So let's say we're thinking of the closet organization niche. I might type in something like shoe rack. So Sales Samurai is going to generate all of this information and data for that term shoe rack for both Etsy and Google. So if I'm looking to be an Etsy seller, this is gonna be super helpful for me in terms of researching my product to make sure I'm finding something that I can tag with certain keywords that are highly searched. So we can see here on Etsy, the keyword phrase shoe rack is searched an estimated 44,708 times per month and has a competition of only 6,743. We can also see the Google search volume here as well as similar keyword phrases that are on Etsy and Google and currently trending. So this will be able to not only validate the types of products we're thinking of offering, but also give us similar and related keywords to help us to think of other things that might be related or even other keyword phrases we could use to tag for SEO purposes in our product listings. Sales Samurai is an awesome tool because they have so many different features that are amazing for Etsy sellers. They have an area where you can link your shop so that you can get an audit on your shop and suggestions for what could optimize it better. There's a listing creator, a competition tracker where you can identify competing shops and see data on those shops and their listings. There's a profit calculator where you can play with the numbers to make sure you're getting a healthy profit margin and even a calendar where you can see upcoming holidays. You can also download the Sales Samurai Chrome extension so that when you're on Etsy itself, you can see the numbers as you're actively searching for things and doing research. So if you're interested in trying out Sales Samurai, I do have a link in the video description box below that'll let you try it out for free for three days. And then you can also use the code Kate 20 when you sign up to get 20% off your subscription if you decide to continue using it. I wanna thank Sales Samurai for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And I can't wait to hear for those of you who try it, how you like it. Okay, so back to our carousel studio here on Canva, we're gonna go ahead and put in a topic that has to do with the product that we want to offer. So for this example, we said we were going to be in the closet organization niche. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in how to organize your closet. And I'm going to click research topic. And this is now going to generate for me four different slides to be part of this carousel. So I can see here the four different slides. We've got one that's talking about decluttering first, then categorizing our clothing, utilizing storage solutions, and maintaining regularly. So I can look through these. And if I'm not happy with one, I can always click to edit it or edit the description. But if I'm happy with the way all these came out, then I'm going to click generate slides. And here it's generated our title slide as well as each of our four step slides. So you can see it's not really formatted in any certain way. So the next step here is to go ahead and format the way we want it by choosing different fonts and colors. So I'm gonna start with this title slide, go ahead and change this to the font and size I want. And I'm gonna change these colors to my brand colors. And I might even wanna come over to my element section, type in something that's related. So maybe closet and come over to graphics. And I can look through these graphics and choose something that might be a cute little illustration on on this title slide. Of course, I can always click on my graphic and come up here to change the color and make this look exactly how I want it to look. Now I'm gonna continue going through these slides and editing them, changing the fonts and colors and getting the size exactly where I want it to be. And once I've got the first slide done, I can apply these same colors and edits to the rest of my slides easily by just selecting one section that I want to copy, clicking these three dots 
and I click copy style. So that's specifically for the title. I'm gonna come down here and go to this title on the second one and click, and it automatically applies the same font and color and sizing that I had on the one that I copied. So again, I can come up here to the body copy, click the three dots, click copy style, and come down here. You can see the little paint roller. That's your clue that it's copied, and you're gonna just hover over the section you want it to apply to and click. I'm gonna continue going back and forth doing this copy style for each different section and applying it to each of my slides. So this is a way faster and easier method to create a group of slides that you can use for a carousel on social media as opposed to just going through and having to manually create each of these from scratch. All right, our next hack is a new app as well, and this is called Frame Maker. So before we go to the app itself, I wanna show you what frames are on Canva in case you're not familiar. So if you come to Elements and you scroll down, you'll see a frames section. We can click to see all. And like we saw earlier with the grids, the frames are just basically different shapes that you can click on and drag an image into. So if I wanted that circle shape and I wanted this picture of the keyboard and the coffee mug, I could click and drag that over. It's going to fit it into whatever shape frame I've put there. So frames are a really useful tool, but if we go again to the frame section and click see all, there are a lot of options, but you may find that we're thinking of a certain shape that we want that's not in this frame section already for us to use. So this is where we can actually now create our own frame. So we can come to the app section, type in frame maker, and this is what we're going to use, the frame maker app. So with this new app here, we can double click anywhere on the preview to create a new point. So we see with this triangle, we've already got the three points, which we can move around into different shapes, but we can also click to create a new point. Now, before I do that, I'm going to come down here to where it says grid columns, because we can see how many different columns this current preview has. If we want to make it larger and give ourselves more options, we can increase the amount of grid columns that are showing, making the points smaller and more detailed. So if I double click here on the preview, that adds a new point, And now I've got four points to my shape that I can move around in different directions. So I'm gonna click one more here and I can play around with this and make whatever shape I want. So let's say I want something that looks a little bit like a bow tie. I could do something like this. And once I'm happy with it, I'm gonna to click to add to design. So here I've got my little bow tie shaped frame that I can now drag an image into. Once I do, it's going to show in that frame, which I can always then double click to move my photo around within the frame. So I just absolutely love this new Frame Maker app. It's just so much fun to play around with and create your own shapes to be canned of frames that you can use in your designs. Now remember, if you're wanting to make some extra money from home using a software like Canva to create and sell digital products online, then definitely click the link in the video description box below to hop over and watch my free 45 minute digital product powerhouse masterclass. It's gonna get you started off on the right foot and give you everything you need to know to start and grow a profitable digital products business. Talk soon, friends. Hey.